What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Boy Fresh on TV. And tonight, I'll go my WWE Raw review on highlights. So, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys please for watch the video, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, find my socials down below in the description, and let's get started. Now, Monday Night Raw was a good show, and I give it a 7 out of 10. Monday Night Raw was 9 out of 10 for Florida. Then, now, forever together, the WWE video leads us into the show. We see an overhead shot of Tampa, Florida. Main event, Jay Uso is shown walking into the arena, to the arena. We also see WWE Intercontinental Champion Gunther walking alongside Louis Cassidy and Giovanni Vancey of the Imperial. Bailey also arrives at the arena alongside alongside the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, the Kabuki Warriors, and WWE Women's Champion Io Sky and um, Dakota Kai. Bailey won the 2024 Women's Royal Rumble match. Video package WWE Warrior Rumble highlights. The American Nightmare Cody Rhodes is shown walking into the arena earlier today. Pac make Pac 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 makes his way to the ring. Michael Cole announces that Pac Pac McAfee um, will be on Raw commentary team. Moving forward, Wayberry is not it's not there. CL Punk addressed his major injury. This was a um good segment. CL Punk comes out to the ring with his right arm in a sling. CL Punk does not look happy. A loud CL Punk chant picks up. CL Punk looks up at the WrestleMania 40 sign and puts his head down. CL Punk is searching for the words to say. CL Punk says he can't. He came real close. On Saturday night, and felt like he had it in the palm of his hands. He's not mad at the mad at anybody. He's not mad at Cody Rhodes. CM Punk congratulates Cody Rhodes on winning the Royal Rumble. A lot of times in this business, it's not about what you deserve; it's what you earn. Cody Rhodes earned it. CM Punk hopes Cody Rhodes goes to WrestleMania 40 in Philadelphia and finishes his story. Going back to back in the World Rumble, it's a, um, you know what, of an accomplishment. It's like the Tampa Bay Lightning going back to back and winning the Stanley Cup. While CM Punk came close, it doesn't count in this business. It only counts in horseshoes and hand grenade, hand grenade. CM Punk. Has never believed in luck, but he feels a little bit unlucky. In the course of the of the rumble, he tore his right tricep as much as he tried and asked to tap it and work through it to get to elimination chamber in the main event of WrestleMania 40. It's not in the cards. CM Punk doesn't want anymore to feel sorry for himself. When he thinks of this situation and how much it bombs him out because his goal as a kid was to main event WrestleMania. Maybe it's just not ever going to happen. CM Punk doesn't want anymore to feel sorry for himself. Realistically, it is really a problem. CM Punk has, has a friend named Chad Gilbert who has cancer really, had, really bad. He has a beautiful wife and a daughter, Lily. Punk sits with him as he greets some, some therapy. Chat is never down. That's a fight to Punk, to CM Punk. This injury is just a flesh wound. When he says the best in the world, it's not because he always wins. CM Punk loses more than he wins. Did you see him in the UFC? He had a dream, got an opportunity, and and did it because because scared the crap out of him. It scared him as much as he, as coming back after ten years of not being there when he when he never wanted to leave in the first place. CM Punk had to. It scared him. WrestleMania scared CM Punk. It's a goal that will haunt him for the rest of his life. This is a bump in the world. Best in the world are the people who fought cancer or put their lives on the line. Like Matt Flanagan, 
in Chicago firefighter. CM Punk happens to be an entertainer, and for some reason, the people love him. CM Punk has overcome adversity countless times. CM Punk doesn't focus on the negative. None of that matters. The people wake up, there are teachers and gar- gar- garbage men. They they keep going and put food on their family's table, which is facts, by the way. CM Punk was speaking some real truth right there. Anyway, let me continue. WrestleMania 40 is in the cards, but he's a Chicago Cubs fan. There are always there is always next year. Drew McIntyre music hits. CM Punk says this is not what he was expecting. The crowd boos Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre looks sadly at CM Punk. Drew McIntyre has said some terrible things about CM Punk since he returned to WWE and he met them. CM Punk was a terrible person in the past in the in a poison in the locker room. However, listening to CM Punk talking just now was something McIntyre could relate to. McIntyre has gone through some changes recently. He is not he's not much of a spiritual person, but he wants CM Punk to know he prayed for him to get injured, and it happened when he got into the War Rumble. He targeted CM Punk and violently assaulted him. Their champion took that title to the next level. Drew McIntyre didn't want CM Punk to take it. Then CM Punk eliminated him. Um, McIntyre couldn't sleep, but when he heard about the injury, he slept like a baby. Mission accomplished. Drew McIntyre exercised CM Punk. McIntyre will find a way into the world title match at WrestleMania 40. He'll go to the main event and live CM Punk dream again. CM Punk is disgusted. A CM Punk chant fires up. Drew McIntyre tells CM Punk to look him in the eyes when he speaks to him. CM Punk steps up to Drew McIntyre. CM Punk says his heart hurts more than his tricep. He'll, he, he'll rehab it and will main event WrestleMania 40. But first on his checklist is McIntyre. CM Punk is coming for McIntyre. McIntyre goes to attack him, but CM Punk ducks and kicks away at him. McIntyre quickly takes CM Punk down with the Glasgow kiss. CM Punk and, and stumps the injured arm. Sami Zayn music hits, and he runs down to make the save. Sami Zayn punches away at Drew McIntyre until, until he retreats from the ring. WWE doctors run down to help. Sami Zayn helps CM Punk to his feet. That, this was a good segment right here. All right, the Judgment Day Clubhouse. The Judgment Day is watching backstage. WWE Women's Champion Rhea Ripley says if Bailey cho- chose her at WrestleMania 40, then, then, then it's her funeral. Rhea Ripley will remind her who she is. Tonight is about sending a message, a message that wasn't sent at the Royal Rumble. Demi Free says they're done with distractions. Finn Balor says everyone is getting too, too comfortable. Challenge the Judgment Day tonight. They'll show the world how vicious they they are. Finn Balor and Damian Priest walk off. Backstage segment. DIY is walking backstage. Johnny Gargano says they wanted seven years for this opportunity. Tommaso Chamber says they dream of this moment as ch- children. They show the world that there are DIY. So we get the Undisputed WWE Tag Team Championship match. DIY, Johnny Gargano, and Tommaso Ciampa versus the Judgment Day, Finn Balor, and Senior Money in the Bank, Damian Priest. This was a good tag team match right here. Damian Priest will start against Tommaso Ciampa. They lock up, and and Damian Priest powers him to the corner before punching him. Damian Priest punts him in his corner and punches him before attacking Finn Balor in. Finn Balor sends him into the ropes and punches him down. Finn Balor elbows him in the head. Tommaso Ciampa ducks a close on and Johnny Gargano blind tags in. Johnny Gargano and Ciampa take Finn Balor down before a close on and Damian Priest over the top rope. They send Finn Balor out of the ring next to Damian Priest and hits them with stereo planches. DIY sits on the apron and pats himself on the back. 
Johnny Gargano against Finn Balor in the ring and tags Ciampa in. They hit Finn Balor with back elbow and Finn Balor begs Ciampa off before getting out of the ring. Finn Balor runs in and tags Damian Priest in. Tommaso Ciampa attacks Damian Priest and Finn Balor knocks knocks Tommaso Ciampa out of the ring. Damian Priest goes outside and lifts Tommaso Ciampa before dropping him face first on the apron. Damien Freeze gets Ciampa in the ring and tags Finn Balor in. Damien Freeze kicks Tommaso Ciampa and Finn Balor follows up with a scissors kick for a two count. Finn Balor applies a weird chin lock. Tommaso Ciampa fights up, but Finn Balor keeps him back with a fun face lock. Tommaso Ciampa powers over and tags Johnny Gargano in, but the referee doesn't see it. Finn Balor throws Tommaso Ciampa into Damien Freeze, who kicks him down. Finn Balor covers for a two count. Damien Freeze tags in and forms Tommaso Ciampa. Damien Freeze talks trash. But Tommaso Ciampa fights back at him and Finn Balor. Damien Freeze stops Tommaso Ciampa from making a tag, but Tommaso Ciampa rolls him up for a two count. Damien Freeze quickly forms him down and tags Finn Balor. Finn Balor punches Tommaso Ciampa, but Tommaso Ciampa fights back. Finn Balor tries for a falling elbow drop, but Tommaso Ciampa counters into a reverse DT. Johnny Gargano tags in and kicks Damian Priest back, who wasn't legal man. Johnny Gargano close lines Finn Balor twice before he hit Damian Priest with a double knee in the corner. Johnny Gargano then hits Damian Priest with a bulldog while hitting Finn Balor with a close line. Johnny Gargano knocks Finn Balor down and kicks Damian Priest back. Johnny Gargano hits Finn Balor with a slingshot spear for a near fall. Johnny Gargano gets the crowd fired up. Um, Johnny Gargano hits the ropes and goes for a satellite DDT, but Finn Balor counters into a falling elbow drop for a two count. Damien Freeze tags in, tags in Finn Balor, and Damien Freeze sends Johnny Gargano to the ropes. But Johnny Gargano rolls under them. Tomasa Chama pulls Finn Balor out of the ring, and Johnny Gargano rolls Damien Freeze up for a two count. Tommaso Ciampa tags in. Damien Freeze misses in Avalanche in the corner. Johnny Gargano hits Damien Freeze with the assisted slice bread to number two. And Tommaso Ciampa covers for a two count. Tommaso Ciampa goes for, goes for a fairy tale ending. But Damien Freeze counters out. Um, Damien Freeze kicks Johnny Gargano off the apron and hits Tommaso Ciampa with a back elbow. Finn Balor tags in and hits a sling shot double stump. Damien Freeze tags in and Finn Balor hits a leg drop. Damien Freeze follows up with a leg drop for a near fall. Damien Freeze cannot believe he kicked out. Damien Freeze goes for a stop of heaven on Tommaso Ciampa, but Tommaso Ciampa needs him. Damien Freeze fights back with a cra cradle front slam. 1-2, Johnny Gargano breaks the pin. Um, Damien Freeze throws Johnny Gargano out of the ring. Finn Balor talks to Damien Freeze. Um, Finn Balor tags in. Damien Freeze goes for South of Heaven, but Tommaso Ciampa gets out. Tommaso Ciampa then crunches Finn Balor on the top rope. Johnny Gargano hits a slingshot DDT on Damien Freeze, and Tommaso Ciampa hits an air right shirt for an air fall. DIY hits Finn Balor with me in the middle. Finn, um, Johnny Gargano covers, but Damien Freeze pulls Finn Balor's leg and short of pulls. And puts his foot on the bottom rope. Tommaso Chama goes for a plancha on Damien Priest, but Damien Priest punches him out of midair. Damien Priest cannot afford cannot afford a suicide dive from Johnny Gargano. Johnny Gargano gets in gets in the ring and Finn Balor rolls him up with a inside cradle for near fall. Finn Balor connects with a sling blade and a woo drop kick. Johnny Gargano avoids a coup de grace and locks Finn Balor in the Gargano escape. Damien Freeze runs in, but Tommaso Ciampa takes him down with a scaling stretch. Damien Freeze fights up with Tommaso Ciampa on him and slams Tommaso Ciampa onto John Gargano to break up the submission. The crowd is loudly chanting, this is awesome. Damien Freeze tags in and attacks Tommaso Ciampa. Damien Freeze goes after a goes where he raises his edge on John Gargano, but he gets out and attacks Tommaso Ciampa in. Johnny Gargano punches away at Finn Balor. Hits Johnny Gargano with an overhead kick. Tommaso Ciampa needs Finn Balor in the head, and Damien Priest super kicks Tommaso Ciampa out of the ring. Damien Priest goes outside and grabs Tommaso Ciampa. 
Timmy Freeze goes for the race of stage, but he lets Tommaso Champ he lets Tommaso Champ plan go and catches Johnny Gargano attempting a suicide dive. Demi Priest hits Johnny Gargano with the flatliner on the commentary table. Um, Demi Priest gets in the ring and Tommaso Champ rolls him up for a near fall. Um, Demi Priest quickly forms Tommaso Champ in the throat and taps him by the end. Demi Priest is Champa with the with the Razor's Edge. Finn Balor immediately follows up with the Razor's Coup de Grace for the win. The winner in, by pinfall and still your undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions the Dutchman Day. This was a good tag team match. Dirty Dominic Mysterio and JD Madonna runs down to celebrate with Damian Priest and Finn Balor. Finn Balor shouts that they are still the undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions. Damian Priest says for weeks they are seeing a different side of the Judgment Day. And we all know who the reason for that is. It's the same person that everyone in the ring owns an apology to after the Royal Rumble. Damian Priest wants to apologize to him. It's not a secret. Damian Priest calls our troop out to the ring. Our troop comes out and look a little, look, little confused. The crowd is is a is a happy to is happy to see him. They have Judgment Day graphics up for him. Demi Priest says Archu has has his word that he won't attack him. Then Balor says Demi Priest is a man of his word. Archu gets in the ring. Archu says he's glad Demi Priest is going to let him let him say his um say his shit what's this um trick because it doesn't work when Demi Priest says it. Archu asks everyone to please. Um, rise for the Judgment Day. The crowd cheers. David Free says he's been thinking about the word Rumble. Archu says they can't talk about that later. Archu hasn't been able to sleep since it happened. Our truth recalling re recall David Free's money into crypto, filed his taxes, legally liquidated his assist. Eddie says, and his is good to go. Um, Damien Priest says, R2 has no clue what that means. Damien Priest says that Judgment Day is, is a family, R2. R2 says, um, Damien Priest is like his older brother. Damien Priest points out that R2 is older. Ben Bailey is like the weird uncle, and we all got unpredictable, but we still love him. What more is there to say about Tom and Nick Dominic? The crowd boo boos um, Dominic Mysterio. As for Jerry Madonna, he's like that stepbrother you got that you don't want to admit it, it is in the family. <clears throat> Damien Free says our truth has to let him finish talking. Damien Free was going to say that. Joshua Day is like a family, but unfortunately, our truth is not part of it. Damien Priest says, always like our truth, and doesn't want to be to be the one to do this. J.D. Madonna attacks our truth from behind. The Miz quickly runs down to make the save, but but he's overwhelmed by Damien Priest, Ben Valor, and Dominic Mysterio. And J.D. Madonna joins in. Ben Valor holds Miz, holds Miz down. And Dominic Mysterio hits him with a fall splash. The Judgment Day stands over the awesome truth and pose. Okay, backstage segment. CM Punk is being tended to backstage. Raw General Manager Adam Pearce is with him. Later tonight, Sami Zayn will battle Drew McIntyre. Um, tag team match. Shannon Bates and Zoe Starks versus Chelsea Green and Piper Nevis. This match was god awful. Samantha Irvin made her unique announcement of Chelsea Green's name again. The bell rings and Piper Nimbus immediately outlets Zoe Starks down. Piper Nimbus connects with a clothesline and grabs her, but Zoe Starks hits a jawbreaker. Piper Nimbus elbows her back, but Shanna Bracer gets a cheap shot in. Zoe Starks kicks Piper Nimbus down and tags Shanna Bracer in. Shanna Bracer mounts Piper Nimbus and punches away at her. Shanna Bracer bends. Piper Nimbus arms and stumps it. Shanna Bracer twists the arm and tries to lift Piper Nimbus, but Piper Nimbus backs her to the corner. Zoe Stars quickly tags in, as does Chelsea Green. Chelsea Green 
since so he starts into the ropes. Shayna Baszler goes for the Kofuda clutch on Chelsea Green, but Chelsea Green pulls her out of the ring. Chelsea Green avoids a cross body block from Zoe Stars and takes her down for a two count. Um, Chelsea Green goes for a tag, but um, Shanna Baszler pulls Piper Evans off the apron. Zoe Stars hits Chelsea Green with the Z360 for the win. The winner of the match by pinfall is Shanna Baszler and Zoe Stars. This tag team match was got awful. Video package. Some of the headline coming out of Royal Rumble headlines. The biggest Headline is not showing for some reason. The American Nightmare Cody Rose is walking back today. She'll be out next. Commercial break. WrestleMania 40 is 68 days away. So we get the American Nightmare Cody Rose addressing winning the World Rumble in back-to-back -back years. This was good. I enjoyed this. The American Nightmare Cody Rose makes his way to the ring to a huge reception. Cody Rose won the 2023 and 2024 men's Roy Rumble matches. The crowd loudly chants his name. Cody Rose looks amazed by the reception. The crowd chants, you deserve it. Cody Rose tips his hat and says, so, Tampa Bay, what do you want to talk about? Cody Rose says he has something to say in response to, to his own question. On the way out here, he heard something for the first time that was music to his ears. Cody Rose asks Samantha Urban to say it one more time. Samantha Urban repeats in the ring introduction, and Cody Rose falls on that on the turnbuckle. <clears throat> Cody Rose thanks her. Um, Cody Rose says there are a lot of folks here. They come to Monday Night Raw, WWE, WWE Live, SmackDown, and the PLS, and the expert expectations is on the WWE superstars to give them the best action, the best three hours of their lives to help escape for a bit. The people don't realize that the WWE superstars need to escape too. The last 48 hours of his life have been challenging all, all as well. But on Saturday, they will never know how much he needed, needed them. Cody Wells gets emotional. Cody Rose is endlessly grateful for that, but let's get to let's get to it. Let's make rest let's make let's make WrestleMania 40 official. Run it down. World Heavyweight Champion Seth Freaking Rollins makes his way to the ring. The crowd loudly and happily sings Seth Rollins' song. Seth Rollins says Seth of Bay is right. Cody Rose does deserve it. Seth Rollins says that because they haven't always seen eye to eye. But over the past year, they developed a mutual respect for each other. Back to back World One Bulls are special. Seth Rollins is going to be real with, C with Cody Rose if he chosen to fight Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 40. He is making a mistake. Seth Rollins wants Cody Rose to fight him instead. Cody Rose looks perplexed. A no chant picks up. Cody Sephron says he understands and concern, but all he wants is for them to hear him out. Sephron watches Cody Rose at the World Rumble at the World Rumble press conference. Cody Rose said he was the guy, but he isn't. <clears throat> Sephron says Roman Reigns isn't even the guy anymore. Savrans so, so, so is the guy. This World Heavyweight Championship is the title in WWE. Last year, Savrans won the Royal Rumble. It made sense to go after Roman Reigns, but that was when there was only one champion. The landscape has changed. All Cody Rose has thought about every day Roman Reigns, but Cody Rose has Cody Rose has been with. Sir, with Seth Rollins on his on his ride. Since Seth Rollins has won this title, Cody Rose has been on the road with him every every show on all those shows. Who was in the main event? It wasn't Roman Reigns. What title was Rollins defending in those main main events? Because it wasn't the WWE Championship. 
it was the world heavyweight title. Who does does Cody Rhodes know why this title came to be? It was because every single one of the, these people was sick and tired of Roman Reigns. They were sick and tired of him showing up every other week, then every other month, then every six months, never defend the title, and always cheating. This title belongs to the people. They built this built this title through through broken bones and broken backs and a blown out knee. They have level leveled the playing field with the World Heavyweight Championship. We don't need to pretend Roman Reigns is a god any anymore because he isn't. We don't need Roman Reigns at all. Seth Rollins has to ask what 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 title does Cody Rhodes want? Does he want the Hollywood title, the Hulk Hogan title? The one of posers and fraud, the one people polite think their way to the top to get, or does he want the Dusty Rose title? Does does Cody Rose want the blue collar championship? That's that's what the World Heavyweight Championship World Heavyweight Championship means. It's who is the very best between these ropes. Sebrons could ask him which the which title Dusty Rose would rather have. But it's not about him. It's about Cody Rose. This is about Cody Rose and his de- decisions. Cody Rose looks conflicted. Sephron says he doesn't need an answer right now. It's the biggest decision he makes in his entire life. Seth Seth Rollins wants to know what is in Cody Rose's heart. What kind of man does Cody Rose want to be? Cody Rhodes looks really conflicted. He says he has an insane amount of respect for Seth Rollins. This is the last thing he woke up thinking that they would be talking about and he would be thinking about. Cody Rhodes would, would tell him this. He'll think about it. Cody Rhodes walks off and Seth Rollins smirks. That was a good promo, man. Seth Rollins was cooking in that in this segment. But that was a good segment, though. Anyway, let me continue. Backstage segment. Kofi Kingston is backstage with Xavier Woods. Kingston says a lot of people think about if the funny things the New Day does, but they forget that they also win win titles. Kofi Kingston is going to be a fifth time Intercontinental Champion. Going to will defend the WWE Intercontinental Championship later tonight. The main event, Jay Uso makes his way to the ring. Next, he'll face Big Bronson Reed. Commercial break. Video package, Ron Breaker's Great Royal Rumble performance. Main event, Jay Uso versus Big Bronson Reed. This was a um, this was a decent match. They lock up and Reed powers Jay to the corner. Jay ducks a right hand and punches away at him. Jay hits the ropes, but Bronson Reed avalanches him down. Bronson Reed punches and heads butts Jay to the corner before clubbing him. Bronson Reed connects with a short arm clothesline. Um, Bronson Reed, Bron- short arm clothesline. Bronson Reed clubs Jay Uso into the ropes. Bronson Reed whips him, but Jay Uso holds the ropes and sidesteps him to send him out of the ring. Jay Uso connects with a suicide dive. Bronson Reed quickly shoves Jay Uso into the ring post and charges, charges, but he is the pose when Jay Uso moves. Commercial break. Picture in picture commercial break. Bronson Reed takes a few moments to recover at ringside before getting in the ring. Jay Uso rocks him with some right hands. Jay Uso hits the ropes and ducks a clothesline, but Bronson Reed catches him on the rebound with a back elbow. Bronson Reed connects with the with the elbow drop. Bronson Reed applies a neck vice. Uh, Jay Uso fights out and punches the big big Aussie. Bronson Reed quickly headbutts him to knock him back. Bronson Reed stands on Jay Uso for a few moments. Bronson Reed grabs Jay Uso and chokes him on the middle rope. Bronson Reed punches Jay Uso and whips him hard into the op- opposite corner. Bronson Reed smooches. 
smooches jeus smooches jeus was facing to the middle turnbuckle and rocks him rocks him bronson reconnects with a running hip attack and applies a rear chin lock back in the ring I mean, see, I'm sorry, back from the break, Jay Uso fights up and punches out. Jay Uso punches him to the corner and charges, but Bronson Reed puts him on apron. Jay Uso kicks him back in, goes to the top row for, for a diving crossbody block. One, two, Bronson Reed kicks out. Um, Jay Uso kicks, kicks and overcuts him. Bronson Reed quickly swats him down and hits a senton. One, four, two count. Bronson Reed is furious that Jay Uso kicks out. Jay Uso ducks a close on and super kicks, him, super kicks Bronson Reed twice. Bronson Reed doesn't go down. A third super kick takes the big man off his feet. And Jay Uso picks up a two count. Jay Uso goes to the top rope, but Bronson Reed cuts him off. Bronson Reed goes for a super flex, but Jay Uso punches him down to the mat. Jay Uso goes for, a, goes for an Uso splash. But Bronson Reed moves. Bronson Reed connects with a Death Valley driver for a near fall. Bronson Reed avalanches Jay Uso in the corner and heads to the top row. Bronson Reed goes for a tsunami, but Jay Uso moves. Jay Uso super kicks Bronson Reed and connects with a spear. Jay Uso goes for the top rope and hits the Uso splash for the win. The winner of the match, the winner by a pinfall, main event Jay Uso. This match was decent. Video video highlights are showing of Andrade return to WWE World Rumble. Raw General Manager Adam Pierce office. Raw General Manager Adam Pierce is watching Andrade sign a WWE Raw contract. SmackDown General Manager Nick Aldis walks in and says SmackDown had an handsome offer for Andrade. Andrade tells Aldis to stay here, say hello to Selena Vega for him. Andrade walks off. Um, all this, Nick Aldis says he lent damage control, but this is how it is. All this, Nick Aldis phone rings, and it is Braun Breaker. Backstage segment, WWE Intercontinental Champion Gun- Gunther is backstage. Um, Kofi Kingston will remember this night for the rest of his life, but Gunther will soon forget about him. Gunther tells Kingston to leave it all out there in the inner ring. After tonight, no one will talk about Kingston, and he'll continue being the longest reigning Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion of all time. Gunther wishes Kingston luck. Look, look. Okay, we go to commercial break. Video headlines from the Royal Rumble event. Backstage interview. Jackie Redman is backstage with the man with the man Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch says she let a lot of people down, but she'll fight harder and dirtier until she's back on top in the main event. So we get the WWE Intercontinental Championship match: Kofi Kingston versus the Ring General Gunther. This was like this was um the match of the night. I really enjoyed this match. This was the match of the night. This was a this was a good match right here. The bell rings, and Kingston quickly takes to Gunther. Kingston hits the ropes, but Gunther catches him with a totally world backbreaker. Gunther applies a Boston Crab. Commercial break, picture, picture, commercial break. Kingston twists, twists out, so Gunther elbows him in the back, in the head. Kingston fights back, but Gunther catches him with a shoulder tackle. Gunther clubs the back and kicks him against the ropes. Gunther pushes Kingston into the ropes and clubs him down on the rebound. Kingston fights back, but Gunther takes him down. Kingston avoids a cannonball and tries to pick the, the leg, but Gunther fights him off. Gunther is dominating Kingston right now. Kingston quickly chops him, but that is a mistake. As Gunther spins him and chops him out of the ring, Gunther catches Kingston coming back in the Coming back in the ring with a snapmare and kicks to the back. Back from the break, Gunther elbows Kingston in the nose. Kingston punches and punches and hit us the ring general, but Gunther cuts off the momentum with a chop. Gunther richly whips him to the corner and smiles. Gunther's chest is bleeding, a bit from Kingston's chop. Gunther grabs 
Kingston eventually whips him to the corner in a corner a second time. Gunther grabs the leg and goes where he wants to grab, but Kingston kicks him back. Gunther quickly grabs him and hits a scoop slam. Gunther talks trash to Kingston and uppercuts him a few times. Kingston chops him, but Gunther light him up with chops with a chop to the chest. Gunther sends him to the corner, but Kingston pops out with a clothesline. Kingston punches away at Gunther and boots him back. Kingston catches him with a with a pen, pendulum kick and head to the top rope. Kingston leaps, Kingston leaps, but Gunther catches him and hits a backbreaker. Gunther goes back to the Boston crowd, and we once again go to a commercial break on the submission attempt. Commercial break. Picture and picture commercial break. Kingston soon gets to the to the bottom row to break the hole. Gunther signs Kingston up and hits a German suplex. The, the picture and picture break goes away from here. Back from the break, Kingston stunts Gunther with a knee to the face. Kingston chops the chest twice and draw kicks him. Gunther sidesteps a leap, leaping clothesline, and goes for a sleeper hole. Kingston fights it. Gunther goes for a powerbomb, but Kingston fights that and hits Gunther with the hurricane over the top rope. Kingston goes for a suicide dive, but Gunther, but Gunther catches him and viciously throws him into the ring apron. Kingston hit an arc Um, Kingston soon sends Gunther head first into the ring post. Kingston hits a pair of suicide dives. Gunther follows him into the ring, and Kingston hits trouble in paradise. Kingston crawls over, but Gunther rolls out of the ring before he's pinned. <clears throat> Kingston bounces Gunther off the steel steps and climbs on the top of the barricade. Kingston leaps, leaps and lands on Gunther, who is hanging over the ring steps. Kingston gets Gunther in the ring before they counter out. Kingston goes to the top rope and hits a massive boom drop. One, two, Gunther kicks out. Kingston sides Gunther up for trouble in paradise, but Gunther blocks it. Kingston counters counters and two in inside cradle for a two count. Gunther quickly takes his head off with a lariat. Gunther charged, but Kingston hits the SOS for a near fall. Kingston gets to his feet. And the crowd chants, this is awesome. Gunther catch it, crushes Kingston with a Larry followed by the tremendous Tyrannosaurus drop kick. Gunther connects with a powerbomb for the win. The winner by pinfall is still your WWE Intercontinental Champion, Gunther. This was the match of the night. Kobe Kingston and Gunther was cook, were cooking in the ring. But this was the match of the night. This was a really good match right here. Xavier Woods runs down to check on Kingston. Louis Castle and Giovanni Vance run down to attack Xavier Woods and Kobe Kingston. Xavier Woods fights back, but they but they whip him into the ring post. Okay, video video replay are showing of Drew McIntyre viciously talking, taking out Sami Zayn last month. Backstage, Jackie Redman asked Sami Zayn about facing Drew McIntyre, who took him out a month ago. Sami Zayn says it has her to be on the sidelines at, at the hands of a man who makes an excuse for everything. Then Sami Zayn came back at no, number 30 and was targeted by Drew McIntyre again. Drew McIntyre never blames himself for his problems. Sami Zayn will give him a reality check. Drew McIntyre will battle Sami Zayn in tonight's main event. WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, the Kabuki Warriors. Um, Kabuki Warriors make their way to the ring. They battle Natalia and Tegan Knox next. Um, commercial break video footage is showing up Jack Cargill. Fantastic World Woman appearance. Backstage, Sami Zayn is shown warming up backstage. Elsewhere, backstage, we see Drew McIntyre warming up. So we get a non title tag team match. WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, the Kabuki Warriors, Asuka and Kyrie Zayn versus Natalia and Tegan Knox. And this match right here, this was this tag team match was um this was solid. Solid match. Kyrie Zayn starts against Tegan Knox. Kyrie Zayn dances around the referee before 
taking her taking her down. Tegan Knox quickly gets in, gets the momentum and tags Natalia in. Natalia drop kicks Kyrie Zane for a two count. Kyrie Zane quickly pulls Natalia down by the hair. Oscar tags in and Kyrie Zane bounces Natalia off her boot. Natalia quickly sends Oscar into the corner. Tegan Knox tags back in and punches away at Oscar. Oscar charged, but Tegan Knox slingshots over her and hits in. Overcut, Tegan Knox kicks Oscar down in the corner and hits a cannonball. Kyrie Zane runs in, but Tegan Knox takes her down. Natalia and Tegan Knox hit running boots on the women's tag team champions. Um, so we go to commercial break. We come back from the break to see Oscar digging her knee into Tegan Knox's face. Kyrie Zane take, tags back in. The Kabuki Warriors kick away at Tegan Knox. Oscar tags back in and kicks Tegan Knox in the face. Tegan Knox soon fights off Kyrie Zane and Oscar. Oscar ducks in the insecurity and applies in ankle lock. Tegan Knox tries to crawl to her corner, but Kyrie Zane pulls Natalia off the apron. Tegan Knox rolls Oscar up for a two count. <clears throat> Tegan Knox has buzz her and hits in the uppercut. Natalia tags in, hits Oscar with a pair of snap snap suplexes. Natalia connects with a German suplex and follows follows up with a disgust clothesline. Uh, Natalia goes for a sharpshooter. Oscar shouts for Kyrie Zane, and Kyrie Zane is really late on her cure. Tegan Knox goes after Kyrie Zane, but Kyrie Zane takes her down. Natalia was looking for a tag and wasn't happy. Natalia connects with a baseball slot on Kyrie Zane. Natalia was Oscar for a two count. Oscar quickly kicks Natalia down. Oscar hit and Oscar and Kyrie Zane hit a reverse DT and saying and saying elbows her elbows for the win. The winner by pin for the Kabuki Warriors. This was a solid tag team match. Women's locker room Katana Chance and Kaden Carter are watching this match backstage. Jackie Raymond asks what is next for them. Katana Chance and Kenny Carter announce they'll have a rematch next week on Raw against the Kabuki Warriors. Bailey, Bailey, the winner of the 2024 Women's War Rumble match, makes her way to the ring. Commercial break. Um, Bailey addresses her War Rumble victory. Now, this segment was pretty good. Pretty good segment by Bailey. Bailey is in the ring with WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, the Kabuki Warriors, WWE Women's Champion Ilska and Dakota Kai together. They all make up, make up damage control. Bailey says she would let the people take picture of them in the ring. When when was the last time the Women's Tag Team Champions, the Women's Champion, and the World Rumble were all in the ring together? It's never been done before. This is this is history all because of Bailey. Everyone thought Bailey was done that what that she wasn't as good coming back from injury. She might not have been the poser poster, but she is she is a winner. Bailey won against the most stacked woman roster they had. She she also beat Rhea Ripley Spreckler and Lasted 63 minutes and three seconds. Women's World Champion Rhea Ripley comes out comes out to the to the stage. Rhea Ripley says the only reason Bailey beat her beat her time in the Royal Rumble is because she wasn't in the match. The rest of Damage Control has gold. If Bailey chose her for WrestleMania 40, <clears throat> WrestleMania 40, it will remind that way of. All of a sudden, Nia Jax attacks Rhea Ripley from behind. Nia Jax fights Rhea Ripley into the ring and hits her with a leg drop. Um, Nia Jax drops her drops twice more leg drops before hitting her with an and later. Nia Jax approaches Bailey, who cowers in the corner. Um, Nia Jax tells Bailey to pick Gil Sky because Rhea Ripley is not making it to WrestleMania 40. Bailey. She, she, 
she really said she'll make her decision decision this Friday. And I cannot wait till this Friday. But damage control needs to turn on Bailey. And that's all I gotta say. But let's move on. Dakota Kai can was the like the um the um she like Dakota Kai was the um the lead, like kind of the leader the kind of the leader the whole time. She Dakota Kai knew the whole time, but I wanted to see the damage control leave um, Bailey. That's all I gotta say. So I cannot wait till this Friday. What will you know, what will Bailey choose this Friday on SmackDown? But anyway, let me continue. Sami Zayn makes his makes his interest. The main event is next. Commercial break. Sami Zayn versus Drew McIntyre. Good match. But terrible ending. That's all I gotta say. Good match, good match, and good match, but terrible ending. The bell rings and McIntyre immediately powers him to the corner. Sami Zayn ducks and chops and chops McIntyre's chest. Sami Zayn hits some jabs before hitting a whip reverse. Sami Zayn quickly sends McIntyre over the top rope and goes for a plancher, but McIntyre catches him. McIntyre slings him over the commentary table. McIntyre puts Sami Zayn back in the ring and look at Pac McAfee. Pac McAfee. Sami Zayn then sends Drew McIntyre over the commentary table with a suicide dive. So we go to commercial break. Back from the break, Drew McIntyre chops Sami Zayn in the corner. Sami Zayn is holding his shoulder in pain. McIntyre pulling him up by the beard, but, Mac- but Sami Zayn fights back. Drew McIntyre backs him up and chops the chest. Drew McIntyre pu- puts him on the top rope and sets him up for a white noise. But, <clears throat> but Sami Zayn fights off and hits a sunset flip powerbomb for a near fall. Sami Zayn scales the ropes and, and connects with a tornado DDT for a near fall. Sami Zayn backs up for a holova kick. But Drew McIntyre pops out and hits a spine buster, followed by a jackknife pin for a two count. McIntyre immediately follows up with a with a sit out bar bomb for a near fall. Sami Zayn soon sidesteps and charging Drew McIntyre and sends him shoulder first into the ring post. Sami Zayn goes for a suplex, but he can't get Drew McIntyre up. McIntyre connects with a Glasgow kiss, and Sami Zayn is out cold. Drew McIntyre pulls him to the top rope, but Sami Zayn sweeps the feet. Sami Zayn connects with a top rope superplex. Sami Zayn slowly gets up and goes for the goes for a huluva kick, but Drew McIntyre takes him down. Drew McIntyre counts down and charges for a claymore kick, but Sami Zayn counters into a blue thunder bomb for a near fall. Drew McIntyre backs Sami Zayn up and connects with an overhead belt to belly suplex, followed by a kip up. Drew McIntyre lifts lifts Sami Zayn and climbs the ropes for a vicious. Super right noise. One two one two. Sami Zayn barely kicks out. Sami Zayn rips at Drew McIntyre's face on the kick out. McIntyre says he is out of Sami Zayn's lead. Sami Zayn fights back and punches away at Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre his his a another Glasgow kiss. Drew McIntyre kicks up and and Sami Zayn follows him for a holova kick. McIntyre drops down and covers up immediately. And the vertically, and the vertically lowers blow, blow boy and Sami Zayn. McIntyre, yeah, McIntyre follows up with a claymore for the win. The win for the claymore kick for the win. The winner by pinfall, Drew McIntyre. The match itself was good, but terrible ending. But the ending was the match itself was good, but the ending was terrible. And WWE Monday Night Raw goes off the air. All right, as I stated before. Monday Night Raw was a good show, and I give it a 7 out of 10. That's all I gotta say. If you guys enjoy my WWE Monday, if you guys enjoy my WWE Monday Night Raw review on highlights, please give this video a big fat thumbs up. Comment down below what you thoughts on WWE Monday Night Raw. Now, like I said earlier, Monday, WWE Monday Night Raw was a good show, and I give it a 7 out of 10. Follow my socials down below in the description, like and share the video with your friends and family, and um. Um, follow my social down below in the description, and I will see you guys tomorrow for my WWE NXT review on highlights. This is your boy, B-Boy Faction on TV. Have a great night. Stay safe and always stay positive. KFG Crew.
KFG Pinks, KFG Club, Too Sweet. I'm out of here, gang.